Hello viewers, Puck Country here from Noni Racing. In this video we are heading down to Teamsworth Warrington for a 40 lap race. Stay tuned for the race highlights, but for now let's just see a few examples of what you should not do in a friendly race. On this session we had 6 members, 4 of them were very quick and 6 non-members of whom 5 were fairly slow. Do not worry, we will not be trashing the newcomers, I want to talk about the tree in the middle of the pack. We will be focusing on cart number 4, 17 and ourselves in cart 18. So right off the start we have a bit of a traffic chaos as one of the newcomers starts from pole while all the drivers behind him are members so they need to find a way through. This gets sorted by the time we reach corner 2 as 4 of the members are now in the first 4 positions and cart 19 soon takes position 3 and drives into the distance leaving cart 4, 17 and 18 for the middle of the pack. The member in cart 17 is a super heavyweight driver and cart 4 clearly has the edge on him but instead of driving smart he decides to settle this by force. Seeing the aggression before us, we decide to follow close and try to take any opportunity they create for us. We don't have to wait long as Cart 4 tries an aggressive move on the outside which gives us the opportunity to take the inside line and complete the move, but on the top of the ramp we just leave the door open and he takes an aggressive inside line and takes the position back. After this he continues to bomb cart 17 at every opportunity he gets. At the end of the finish straight we go into the inside line forcing cart number 4 to go wide 17 takes the turn way too late and 4 commits way too much speed into the turn, cutting our line, but due to the overspeed he is sliding into the side of car 4, bumps him and in the process turns himself around, allowing us to take 2 positions for free. What did we learn here? Over aggression just lost him the position and if the middle of the pack would have been any larger, at this point everyone would have passed him. Also, this move resulted in a yellow flag, breaking the rhythm of the race once again for absolutely no good reason. Can you top this up? Yes, of course you can. Close the gap, perform the overtake under yellow and get yourself black flagged. This seems absolutely unnecessary. Please do not do these things. When you clearly have the pace advantage, there are so many clean ways to overtake. You don't need to bump the cart every turn and it's clearly not okay to close the gap and overtake on yellow. Speaking of not fair closing the gap on yellow, at this point in the race we have a clear advantage over cart 17 and our lap times under clean track conditions are 2 to 3 seconds faster. Despite this, after the next yellow he is right on our tail. Soon after this we will get overtaken by him. The overtake itself is fair enough, we got caught in traffic and we did not handle it well, which lost us momentum in a key corner of the track. But in a fair race where you keep the distance during yellow, he should never have been close enough to perform this move. The other problem with this is that overtaking a clearly faster driver this early in the race will force you to defend, the faster driver to take alternative lines, costing both of you valuable time. and. Inevitably, the faster driver will take the position back, and the whole thing will have only one result. All similarly paced drivers will gain time on you, or even enter the battle. It is just counterproductive. After the overtake, we decide to follow him through traffic, and soon enough we can take advantage of a back marker blocking his line and take the position back. At this point, we are behind a back marker who is clearly slower than us, and we have a member behind us who, despite being slower, proved himself very capable in seizing opportunities and performing clean overtakes. So we are really desperate to put some distance between us, but in order to do so we need to overtake 22 first and this leads into a big mistake. 
In the Open 342 session video we mentioned that it's very risky to attempt an overtake in the chicane and we should wait till the end of the finish straight or make an attempt in the three hairpins. Do as we say, not as we do. And here is why. We know that the driver in front of us is a newcomer, we should not expect him to be fully aware of his surroundings and as other drivers demonstrated, aggression can backfire badly. We make a half-hearted move on the upper section which allows cart 4 to catch up, but we have the inside line for the next turn, so that threat is over for now. Turning into the down ramp, we manage to push our nose next to cart 22, but he does not seem to be aware of this, and cuts the space forcing us into the barrier, and eventually spinning himself around, resulting in a big crash, red flags, and two carts overtaking us. The right move here would have been to let him go and pace the move for the end of the finish straight. So these were the most interesting, you should not do these moments for the race. Do you agree with our assessment? Are we overreacting? Please use the comments below to let us know what's your take on the event. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we release the highlights of this session to see how the Battle of It 17 unfolds and what happens for the rest of the race. That's all for today, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, happy racing!